Yo, what's up guys, it's Archie Lala. We are back with Sub Legend of Heroes, Trails in the Sky. So, between the last two episodes, you know, Dylan was over here, so I couldn't really record, so I was leveling up off screen. Just because I wanted to play the game, but couldn't really progress the story. Um, I also opened up Joshua's second slot, so I was, I was able to give him <clears throat> a fire gem. So now they both have the fire bolt, which is cool. But, um... In today's episode, we are going to Purzel Farm, because that is where our story mission is taking us. So, if I remember correctly, it shouldn't be too far. It should be down this path, and then down one more. It should be, like, right down here. Yeah, it is down here. Alright, so we're going to go into Purzel Farm and get surprise attacked. Oh my god, look at me just losing a hundred health for no reason. And I don't even want to fight these guys because since I did get to level 7, they're not going to give us much experience because of how this game works. But yeah, we're at Prozo Farm. Huh, <sighs> no matter when we come here, this place is always so tranquil. It's hard to imagine monsters running amok here. I certainly don't sense anything out of the ordinary either. Anyway, let's go ask someone here to fill us in on the details. I wonder if Teos is, ho is home today. Alright, so we got the kitties over here. Oh, Joshua, Estelle! Hi, Cher, where have you been? How have you been? Do you know where your mom and dad are? They're not home right now. Teos outside if you want to talk to her, though. It's Joshua! Did you come to play with me? I wish I had the time, but I'm afraid I'm I'm afraid today I'm here for work. Work? That's no fun if we can't play. Haha, <laughs> maybe later if there's time. The kids here really like you, Joshua. Alright, so I think that's Teal right there. Can we squeeze in here? No we cannot. We gotta go around. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's change this angle. We got the cows in the back. Moo. Hi, Theo. <laughs> it's been a while, hasn't it? Estelle and Joshua, too? Did you guys come for a visit? Not exactly. We're here on Bracer Business. We heard that you've been having some trouble with monsters. Estelle and Joshua explain that they are here to do their father's work because he's away. You finished all your training? That's wonderful news. Maybe you can help after all. So there really are monsters giving you trouble, huh? Regrettably, that's been the case the past several days now, thanks to which I'm suffering from a lack of sleep. Which means the monsters only come out at night? You're very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all the details from my father, though. I imagine he should be back from delivering the milk and vegetables any time now. To be fair, what she said does not mean that they only come out at night. That just means that they come out at night, not that they only do, but you know what? I'm reading too far into it. Moo. But you know, they gotta paint Joshua as the smart kid. Haiki, I wasn't really listening. She said her father's in here. Not this room. Where did she say her father was? Oh. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Purzel. How's everyone getting on these days? Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, what brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you come to see Teal? We were actually just chatting with her outside. To tell you the truth, we're here on an errand today from the Bracer Guild. Estelle hands Mr. Purzel the guild referral, and Josh explains why they are taking over for their father while he is away. Is that so? But don't you think this job is a little dangerous for just the two of you to handle? I agree. I'd feel terrible if one of you were to get hurt. Don't sweat it, we're bracers after all, and taking care of monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authoriz authorized us to carry out this task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Hmm. Well, alright then, go ahead and have at it. Thank you very much, Mr. Purzel. Then could you tell us a little more about the monsters that have been wrecking your fields? I haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. And as far as I, as far as I, 
As far as I can tell, three or four appear at night in radar fields, gnawing on anything that can get their grubby little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, but they're extremely nimble. We've tried many times to capture them over the course of the last several nights, but to no avail. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures if you ask me. Since they only appear under the cover of night, we'll have to wait for it to get dark. Then how about taking a load off until then? I assume you'll also be joining us for dinner, right? You said the magic word, you bet I will. I'm a huge fan of your cooking, Mr. Perzel. I can't wait. You sure know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time toiling in the kitchen. And for that, I'll whip you up something special that'll live up to your expectations. I was messing up my reading. I went to look for my phone one time. Oh, that was delicious. Your mom's cooking is as good as ever, Dio. Haha, <laughs> that's because she gets excited to cook whenever we have guests over for meals. I feel really bad for Joshua, though, with the little ones jumping all over him like that. Haha, <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough, kids tend to latch onto him a lot. If anything, I'm more blown away by the fact that children enjoy playing with such a stick in the mud. I think that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, don't you? He's definitely courteous and maybe even a tad reserved, but if you get to know him, he's a really caring young man. The fact that he's not self-conscious about it too, gives him points in my book. You, you really think so? Think about it, with those striking facial features, mysterious amber eyes and lush black hair, it's only natural that he'd be a target for all the young girls. Huh? Is Joshua really that popular? Are you blind, Estelle? Rumor has it more than just a few girls have asked to go out with him. I hear he turned them all down though. I I had no idea. Joshua never said a word to me about it. I don't know how I should even be, begin to describe his secretive nature after hearing this. But how utterly cruel of him not to confide in me. If you were a boy, I'd imagine it would be a different story, but as a girl, I don't think that's something he would talk to you about. And the fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. Huh? Why would I? Estelle, you're in there, aren't you? It's about time to do our rounds. Uh, Alright, I'm coming. I'll be back after Josh and I get the job done, Tio. I'd like to continue this conversation then, okay? Alright, be careful out there, Estelle. That girl, she's either completely out of touch with matters of the heart, or just plain dense. Poor Joshua, he really has his work cut out for him. Do you think this is some romance going on there? I don't think so. I don't know. It seems as though the monsters always show up about, at about this time. We better get outside and take a look around. Grr. What's going on, Estelle? I've got to ask Joshua. You don't happen to have any secrets you're not telling me about, do you? Come on now. Where are you coming up with this stuff? Since you came to live with us, we've always done everything together, right? Even though we've had our fair share of fights, they're all good memories for me now, and... What I mean to say is, I've come to think of you as family in every sense of the word. Estelle. So if there's anything on your mind you'd like to talk about, I'm available to lend an ear. You know, about things like trouble with your love life and whatnot. What are you trying to say? N nothing, I just wanted to let you know that I'm here to listen if you need someone to talk to, that's all. Let's hurry up and get out there so we can kick some monster butt. What kind of nonsense is Tio putting into that girl's head? Secrets, huh? To think they were talking about this right in front of Tio's door, though. Wow, it's really dark out here in the courtside, in the countryside. So Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. How about we start by checking around the house first and then move on to the Stiffield, Stable, and Greenhouses. We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it this way. Alright, let's go. Yo, I'm not gonna hold you, bro. I was reading, but I wasn't, like, reading, reading. Like, I was not listening to what he just said. I'm just going in a circle. No monsters here. Alright, let's keep moving.
it's awfully quiet. All I hear are the bugs chirping. It doesn't look it doesn't look as if they've shown up yet. I wonder if they're aware of our presence. Hey Joshua, did anyone ever tell you that story as a kid? You know, the one about babies being born in the cabbage patch? Now there's another question entirely out of the blue. And no, I was told about an angel with silver wings who delivers them. Interesting. So the explanation for where babies come from differs depending on the region, huh? Uh, hmm? How about we get back to work? Okay. Oh gosh, it's awkward. <laughs> I just came from there. I should have figured monsters wouldn't bother coming in here. The glow of the ornaments sure give this place some romantic ambiance. It makes me feel like it was all worthwhile just setting foot in here. You are definitely a ditzist though. At least it's better than being dense like someone I know. Psst, look. Yeah. It's getting away. Hey, get back here you little furball. I can still sense its presence. It's staying put on the farm for the moment. Well, good, because it's about to get caught. I'm guessing it ran over here? No, it's over here, right? Yeah. I got him. I think it's time to teach this critter a lesson. Here's where our job really starts, so stay alert and don't let your guard down. Where did these guys come from? There was only one of them. They call them crop munchers and a giant crop muncher. I'm dead. Also, while I was training off screen, you know, I died. <laughs> so, uh, my, uh, my my S breaks are down. Oh, nice dodge. Nice dodge. Why did, why did they always go after Joshua? I don't understand. What does he do to y'all? I should have probably double teamed. Alright, let's see what this guy does. Airstrike. Damn, that looked powerful. Hold up. I don't even remember this. Alright, sh this should finish. Thank you. Even though that was really close, so I don't know if this attack will finish. Thank you, it does. Alright, bet, 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 bet. He's preparing to use his arts. Oh, that was fast. We're just gonna do it right back at him. Nice. I don't know what status effect that is. Okay, that wasn't bad. Yeah. Hmm. My goodness. The work of a bracer is something else. You kids have done a fine job of rounding up these critters. It was nothing really. I wanted to ask you though, now that they've been caught, what do you plan on doing with them? Um, do we really have to exterminate them? Of course we do, Estelle. That's the whole reason we came up here in the first place. But, but, the mission of a bracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice. Showing mercy to a bunch of monsters is just absurd and completely illogical. I see what you're getting at, but, you know, it was only some vegetables that were damaged, so what do you think about letting it slide this time? You know, after taking a beating like that, I'm sure they've learned their lesson. Tio, Mrs. Purzel. But in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise. I myself am against killing them too. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is we're all living beings trying to survive on the same land. To some degree, I think we need to be mindful of these creatures living around us as we go about our daily lives. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these critters just this once? Understood. Since this is coming from the ones who suffered the actual loss, I won't object to your request. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know I had you to come up all the way here. I'll make sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. <coughs> 
Then that's that. All right, you critters, you better count your blessings. If we catch you around here again, you won't be so lucky. Now scram. Yeah. Can they understand or no? <laughs> well, I'll consider this matter closed. Tonight's been a long night. So how about we head back to the house and hit the sack? The two of you are more than welcome to spend the night. Sounds good to me. I appreciate your hospitality. Oh, my friend. All this reading. <coughs> Man, I'm beat. It's really late, so how about we hit the sack? Joshua? What's wrong? I'm sorry. I made the situation really awkward for everyone. Huh? Are you talking about what happened back outside? Don't sweat it. I guarantee you nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. No, it wasn't. I'm just cold-hearted and indifferent is all. Even now, I still think we shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply put those creatures out of their misery. Unlike you and Tio, I don't feel any compassion. It's at times like this that I really begin to loathe myself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. Haha, <laughs> maybe some part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua! Don't you dare say things like that about yourself! Est Estelle? I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years. And I'm confident in saying that I know your strengths and weaknesses better than anyone else. Probably even more than you yourself. Uh, I won't allow you to disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense. I don't ever want to hear you say you're broken again. I'm sorry, it was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, that's what really matters. But you know what, believe it or not, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Why? Your real problem, Joshua, is that you always try to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're troubled or worried, you just go around with this nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. That's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Mm. Estelle, I... Joshua, you are able to lay, lay bare your own weakness today. You learn to trust in someone other than yourself, and for that, I'm happy. I, I don't know what your point is, but... I'm amazed that you can just stand there and say something so as embarrassing as that. Ha, I've got a whole lot more where that came from. But how about we call it a night? After all this endless running around, I'm ready to drop. Alright then, have a good night, Estelle. And thanks. You're welcome, Joshua. Sleep tight. Thank you both. You did us all a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please don't worry about it anymore. We were able to learn a lot from this experience ourselves. If there's anything else we can help you with in the future, please let the Bracer Guild know. That'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come and visit again sometime when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over for the night again when things are convenient for you. I'll treat you to some of my best clicking next time you come. Thanks for the invitation, Tio and Mrs. Perzel. We'll definitely be back to take take you up on it when our workload settles down. Alright, how about we head back to the guild? After we report this one, we can start on the next. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one. Oh my goodness. These, these what are these called? What are these called? These red insectos, man. They just be camping, bro. Like, get out of here. The camera. The camera. Alright, we're just gonna run back to this guild. <clears throat> Boom. Alright, let's report this. Good morning. How did the job at the farm go? Um, we hit a few bumps in the road, but... Let me give you a brief report of the details. Joshua gives Ina a rundown of last night's events at the farm. Oh, look at us 8th class. Received information cords as a perk. I see, so you ended up setting the monsters free because the Perzel family requested you to do so? 
I think it was premature on their part, but I won't pursue the matter any further. Is it okay to leave things at that? The mission of a bracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice. However, there are many ways we can protect those around us, and there are as many forms of justice as there are stars in the heavens. As a bracer, it is your job to be able to discern these things. Indeed, our work has very profound implications if you think about it in that way. That's because we aren't an organization that deals strict, strictly with monster problems. We also intervene when disputes arise between nations. To become a high-ranking bracer, one must have more than combat strength. A well-honed mind and flexible problem-solving skills are also required. A sharp mind and problem-solving skill, problem-solving ability, huh? Serious, the road to the big league sounds a lot steeper than I originally thought. Haha, <laughs> well, then your only choice is to devote yourself to working hard every day. Since you're both here, why don't I give you the details of your next job? Those are the words I've been waiting to hear. I'm ready for anything, so what you've got lined up for us this time? Another monster that needs a good weapon? Not this time. This next job will entail the transportation of goods. And get this, your client is none other than Mayor Claus himself. Really? A request from the mayor? Do you think it'll be alright leaving such an important task up to us? From what I've heard, it's a pretty simple job. In any case, I'd like you to speak with the mayor directly about the job details. Alright, first first things first, are there any ones here? Ah, yes, they are. So what we're going to do, we're going to call it an end here. And in the next episode, we're going to tackle those other missions. Because, you know, I'm trying to do all these missions. I'm trying to 100% get all the bracer points possible. Reach the top rank. Which is something I skipped over in my first playthrough of this. Even though I didn't get that far anyway. But, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Now slip, 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 slide. Slip, 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 and slide. Slip, 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 and slide. Hold up, tag team. Ride with your boy, now slip and slide.